SPMD, which stands for Single Program Multiple Data Model, is available within MATLAB uh, through an SPMD uh, block, uh, as it is shown here. Um, when your MATLAB script is running in a serial mode, uh, when it hits the SPMD block, uh, it starts up uh, the default pool of workers, if there isn't a pool already avail uh, working, and, or uses the currently available and running pool. And uh, the code that is enclosed between the SPMD and the end uh, uh, keywords, uh, that block, uh, is sent to all the workers the identical code and they start running the same code in parallel until that is the end uh, statement is uh, for the SPMD is uh, encountered and then uh, then the the operation of the program comes back to the client again and uh, 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 and your program continues running. So in one way, uh, this is a blocking mode for the client, blocking mode of operation, in the sense that uh, once the SPMD is initiated, uh, the client waits for all the workers to finish their work before continuing on uh, with the program. The SPMD syntax can be, as in normally the case, just uh, on its own with no parameters, or it could take uh, a couple of integer parameters. Now, uh, if you have a single integer uh, parameter, then it implies the number of workers to be started from uh, for, or to be used from the pool. And uh, if n happens to be greater than the number of uh, workers that are available, then the program will uh, generate an error. With the a second parameter, m and n, it actually signifies uh, the uh, minimum and the maximum number of uh, workers that we might uh, we will need for the SPMD uh, construct to work with. Within the uh, body of the SPMD block, uh, if you refer a special variable called lab index, and um, that will be uh, a unique one for every one of the workers. So that value will change from 1 to n, n being the number of workers that are running. Um, so uh, that is, as a matter of fact, the only thing that is different uh, between those uh, copies of the code that is running, i.e the love index will be different on each worker. And there is another uh, special uh, variable called numlabs uh, that can be referenced from within the SPMD or outside, and that uh, specifies the number of workers that are available. So we're going to perform some uh, practicals later on. And here is an example of an SPMD uh, structure construct. Uh, we have defined, we have used four here, so we want uh, four workers to be involved in the SPMD uh, uh, st statement. So when the execution is continuing and hits the SPMD uh, keyword, there will be four workers uh, running the same code here. 
as I said, the only difference between those two those workers will be the value of lab index. So what is going on here is that I am defining a string variable, which is data file, which will be na named my data, and then lab index being an integer, a num to string, it will return it to a string value. So it will be one, two, three, or four. Uh, and therefore, we can then, in this next uh, statement, we can say lab data equal to load and data file. So, uh, therefore, the worker number one, or worker with the uh, lab index one, is going to be loading a file called my data one, whereas uh, Worker number two will load the file called my data to so on. So you can see you can access different uh, data uh, from each worker. And here, uh, and then uh, write out the results. Yeah. Now, in this uh, context, what we are doing is that we are assuming that we have loaded the data, then we call uh, some sort of a function within there, and that function returns some results. So uh, remember that for each worker, there will be a different result because we use the different uh, data files. So how do we access those results when we come out of the SPMD uh, 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 block uh, and we are in the client uh, mode? So that actually uh, is accessed in the same syntax as cell arrays. Uh, the result uh, variable here, because it's contains different values on different uh, workers. Uh, it is called a composite object. It's uh, composed of different uh, values from the different uh, uh, workers. So if you wanted to access, for example, the results from worker number one, we would simply say, uh, have a, a statement like this, result inside curly brackets 1. If you wanted to access, say, the fourth uh, worker's date results, we would use results in inside curly brackets uh, 4. Okay, and uh, we will stop at this point and we will do some examples uh, in the following uh, demonstrations.